This video is sponsored by Escape Hive Tournament. The Escape Hive Tournament offers a variety of Hive tournaments designed for new players, experienced players, etc. Compete in events, tournaments, and seasons for a grand prize. This season's grand prize will be $50 USD for the winning team. We offer a non-biased and friendly environment for all players to come and enjoy. Join for free french fries too. Anyways guys, let's head on to the video. Hello everyone, Fabrice here today. Today guys, we're back with another long-awaited Herrick's Clan SMP episode. We are here at episode 3 and today we're actually going to be going on the quest to go get some netherite armor and basically netherite everything. So guys, I know it's been a while since the last episode and I do sincerely apologize. So in the title of the video, it does say join my realms SMP and no, that is not clickbait. You can still technically join the Herrick's Clan SMP, although you will need to fill out an application which will be in the description down below. So just make sure to take it seriously. If you don't take it serious, we will not consider you. But if you still like for some reason get rejected or you want to take SMP right now, I do have a public realms which anyone watching can join. So you guys can also join that if you are looking for realms. So guys, if you did miss out on the last two episodes, basically what we did is we built this awesome starter house and we prepared the sheep farm up there. And there's a creeper right over there, which I'm actually very worried about. But yeah, um, basically everything is basically the same from the last episode. Although we did add a river right over here. No, this is not a um. A naturally generated river I did actually uh, you know had to break all the blocks please please keep it oh my god and I did add a bridge that goes to the main town over here this is how our base looks like it looks really good in my opinion and let me just show you guys um basically what we have for today's adventure so we have a bunch of beds we have a bunch of blocks and one gold boot right over here so in today's episode we're basically going to be mining some netherite or at least trying to get a full netherite at least honestly because I have no idea how it's gonna go but yeah here is our room I did put my my, uh, old iron armor as that armor stand so guys that is a uh, pretty cool I think we're just gonna get started right now and we're gonna go uh, to the nether portal and now we're going to go on the hunt for some nether right so without further ado let's go in let's see where it takes us so we're gonna go over here I have not been to the nether in a long time in this SMP so I honestly have no idea what to expect okay so uh, we spawn over here I do remember this and there is a staircase that goes all the way up to the surface it should be up here yep here is a staircase and guys I'll basically to you once I'm at the surface. Okay, so here we are in the Crimson Forest, and we actually do have a fortress right over here, although it was already looted, so there's really no point in me going there. And I think what we're going to be doing for now is that we're just going to go in one direction, and, you know, hopefully, hope for the best, honestly. I really want to find a good place to put our mine, and I will be building it out of these materials in my inventory right now. So hopefully we do find something cool, and I might also want to find a Piglin Bastion, well, if I can find one. But yeah, guys, honestly, tell me in the comment section down below, how has your day been? How has your uh, summer been I guess you know it's a very weird summer in my opinion I've honestly just been staying home making videos and every now and then I do go outside play some frisbee with my family all that good stuff so you know what yeah I'm trying to make this SMP more about interacting with you guys you know just talking about life with you guys and all that all right guys so I think what we're gonna be doing for now is I'm just gonna quickly be back with you guys once I find uh, something interesting one hour later Guys, the Piglin Bastion has been found. Let's go, let's go. I, I'm i kind of disappointed that I did not get my reaction on a recording because I did pause it. I didn't want to take up too much memory. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Did you guys see that? That could have been a whole disaster right as we found the Piglin Bastion. Oh my god. Like literally two more blocks higher than that and we would have been dead, but let's go. We found the Piglin Bastion. Um I literally never actually properly raided a Piglin Bastion, so this is going to be a first time for me. All right, we're going to go dig it down over here. Okay, so there is the Piglin Bastion. All right, now we got to play this safe. We're going to use our uh Netherrack and we're just going to bridge over there right now. Okay, I'm just going to keep on bridging. Going to keep on bridging and uh, there we go. There we go. We got it. So, please wish us luck because we are on hard mode. So just keep in mind that we're on hard mode and we're gonna be raiding a uh, pickle and bastion so we're gonna go right now all right let's go let's go uh there's some basalt over here uh definitely will keep note of that but one thing i need to find especially is the treasure so hopefully we find some good treasure although i'm not too sure how to properly navigate through these things legit i've never raided one in uh, pure survival and oh my god yo this structure is pretty huge all right so i think what we're gonna be doing is i think we're gonna be digging in um yeah that seems to be like our only option two very boring minutes later Oh, oh, I found some piglins. I found some piglins. But luckily, because of the gold armor I have, they will not attack me. Uh, we're going to drop down here. We're going to go over here. Oh, okay, yep. I found the proper bastion now. Oh, there's more of this guild and stuff. Don't mind if I do. Going to take some of that uh, right over here. And Oh, oh my god. What is that? 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yo, what the heck? Why is there so many? Why is there so many? What the heck? Okay, uh, uh, shield, shield, shield. What is this? Why is there so many? What? No, no, I can't die. Is there like a spawner? What is going on? Oh my god, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh god, oh god, I think... Oh god, no, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this, I need to take a gap, I need to take a gap, I'm running away, I'm running away, I'm running away, I can't do this, I, oh my god, no, 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 uh, uh, block it up, block it up, block it up, uh, oh, okay, <laughs> oh my god, yo, we, okay, we literally almost died there, uh, that was, that's not good, that is not good, uh, okay, <laughs> are they seriously gonna kill each other now? Alright, there doesn't seem to be that many, but what the heck was that? Guys, it, was that normal? I, I legit just got sworn by a bunch of those things. Oh, uh, I need to be more careful around here, I did already have to use a, uh, golden apple, so, yeah, they definitely do a lot of damage. Oh, oh, okay, we found a chest, we found a chest. Alright, so we got two chests over here. I did have to mine it up a little, but anyways, let's see what they have to offer. Okay, we got a bit of gold. <gasps> Some chains! Yo, chains are actually really good. Okay, uh, let's get the chains. Well, now we're gonna go over here onto this big chest and see what it has to offer. So let's see. Okay, we got some obsidian. That will definitely help us. Oh, some bone blocks. Okay, uh, definitely take more of those chains. Um, nothing really too good, honestly. Maybe the, I might take those bone blocks a little bit later on. But, I mean, hey, we don't necessarily need them. So yeah, this whole bastion seems to be around uh, this weird looking cave thingy. I'm not too sure why. I'm not sure if it's like a glitch or something, but uh, it's basically in a cave, honestly. Uh, that's kind of a bummer, but I mean, a little bit of it is still exposed to the outside, so hey, I cannot complain about that. Alright, let's just go. Oh, big jump, big jump. Alright, let's go, let's go. We did it. Uh, thank God we did not die. Okay, I think here is like the main treasure room. Oh, yes, yes, here it is. Okay, let's go, let's go. Um, There's some gold blocks over there, too. Yes, we need gold blocks uh, to make golden apples, of course. Uh, oh, is there an enderman? Oh my god, I have no idea. Oh, okay, but we found all of this for now. Let's see if there's any chests nearby. Yes, there's another chest. Oh, what just happened? What just happened? I gotta get up here. I gotta get up here. Okay, uh, we're here. Uh, take this, Piglin. Take this, take this. Come on, die. And let's see what it has to offer. Uh, we're just gonna jump over here. Please, I just hope we don't die. Oh, no, no. No, no. No, 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 and let's see what's up at the upper levels because I swore I did see a gold block. Yep, there it is. There it is. That is mine. It gives it to me. Pass it to me. Let's go. <gasps> Yo, there's some lanterns over here too. Crying obsidian. All right, all right. I'll take that and some of this uh, gilded stuff. We'll uh, definitely take that. A bit more iron definitely will come in handy. Yo, we got 18 gold already. You know what? This nether update makes gold far more easier to but get. It seems to me that we basically explored everything that this has to offer. Well, guys, this place is officially looted. Thank you so much, Piglin Bastion, for all of this gold. 27 gold already. We're legit going to get stacked because, uh, keep in mind, some of you guys may have forgotten that you actually do need gold to make some uh, netherite ingots. That is why I actually tried to find a Piglin Bastion, and over time, we did manage to actually get the W you and a uh, fine one but anyways i think we're gonna be making our mine right over here so we're just gonna build something over here we're gonna build like a little entrance way just to mark you know where we did build our mine so we're just gonna do that and then that and then bam that is basically the mine yeah i know it's kind of lame but hey it's still a mine it will still get the job done for us and let's just make this path a little bit more uh open for people to actually walk in and now the first order of business is to get all the way to y10 because that is where uh netherite well actually ancient debris spawn all right so we found uh, the y coordinate that we needed to go to so all you want to do guys is just simply uh mine out over here just keep on mining uh, until so you're kind of far away from your staircase you don't want your staircase to blow up okay but we're here now so i'm pretty sure most of you guys already know the strip and mining cave technique where basically you mine out five blocks over here and you mine uh five blocks over there like so then you take a two block gap 
and then do it again basically uh, you know just mine over there well it is basically the same idea but instead of mining five blocks towards this way you're actually going to use one bed and you're gonna blow up that area let me just demonstrate to you guys right now so please uh, get a shield or something okay so then you have to blow up your bed just like so and bang oh we have to be uncrouched there we go there we go yeah we did blow it up uh, make sure it's a pretty far distance because you don't want to get blown up or anything like that but yeah we have a big nice open area of where a bunch of ancient debris can be um, exposed if you guys were wondering no the bed will not blow up the ancient debris so you really don't have anything to worry about although if you're actually gonna use this method in like your survival world you really need to get a sheep a farm of course because you do need some wool so uh, yeah I just keep that in mind uh, we're gonna do the same thing over here we're just gonna mine one more block towards uh, this way we're gonna place our bed bam there we go let's go okay let's see did we find any ancient debris I'm not too sure if we actually did manage to find any um no I don't think we found any oh man that's kind of a bummer just make sure to go far away a little bit far away so you can actually have some oh and we found some ancient debris let's go Let's go. You see, this is what I told you. <laughs> Dude, this is legit one of the best methods of finding ancient bees. But let's go. We found an ancient bee. Hopefully, it's not just a one vein. Is it seriously just a one vein? So now that I showed you guys the method on how to get ancient bees, I'll be back with you guys once I have enough. This may take a little while, but it will definitely be worth it. The next day. All right, guys, it is the next day, and that took way longer than expected, but we got the ancient debris right now, and the first thing to do is to actually smelt the ancient debris. So I actually do have a bunch of blast furnace in my kitchen, and bam, the ancient debris is smelting right now. So we actually need, I believe it is four netherite scraps to make one ingot, so we do need a crafting table. Uh, where is my crafting table? Okay, here it is. Oh, guys, <laughs> we finally can make it. We can actually make it. All right, are you guys ready? Three, two, one. We got our first piece of netherite and our second piece of netherite. Oh my God, let's go. Let's go. You know what would be the ultimate flex? is if we actually make another right beacon. All right, we have four ingots. That's more than enough to actually make our uh, netherite armor. So we're gonna go over here to our smithing table. Yep, the, here it is. And we're gonna place our uh, diamond chest plate right now. And then we're gonna place one ingot. There we go, guys. That is one full netherite chest plate. This is honestly so cool. All right, are you guys ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> we got our first netherite armor. Wait, let me equip this. All right, uh, I'm gonna equip the full armor first before I actually uh, look in the third person mode and see how I look like. All right, but now we're gonna do it for the chest plate. Here we go. There we go. Then it's the boots. There we go. And last but certainly not least, uh, the actual helmet. So we're going to do that right now. <gasps> Yo, he looks so cool. Yo, look at this, guys. We are legit rocking the netherite armor in a style. Let's go, guys. Yeah, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, french fries.